Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Welcome to Monk Monday number 102. Thank you so much for anybody who has watched or submitted gameplay. For those who don't know what that is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, and I review it, and I do whatever I can to help you improve. I think one of the best ways to get better at the game is to have your gameplay watched, you know, by yourself or other people. I think it's one of the best ways you can improve. So, uh, Miss Weaver, Windwalker, Twos, Threes, RBGs, Mythic Plus raids, doesn't matter. Send them in. 1700 MMR, 2700 MMR, doesn't matter. Two plus two Keystone, 23 Keystone. It just send it any gameplay you have. No one's gonna judge. It's a lot of fun actually. Uh, it's my favorite video to make. So uh, today we have pockets, and they say uh, we have a few games. One match uh, gets me it's getting 2100. Congratulations, my teammate getting 2100. That's amazing. Uh, I forgot to open my talents, but I run the same build most games. I stopped pushing in because. I'm bad at timing when I should push and get CC'd. I'll let you know if that's something we could... I mean, I could definitely let you know for sure versus Warlock you pretty much never do. Uh, so points would be helpful. I absolutely can. The first game for, is versus Lock Healer and we played it slow and played it uh, around Cloak and Revival. The rest of the matches play fairly fast around three games. Alright, that's that's perfect. Been a big, been a big fan since the Star Shadowlands. I've been nervous about sending in clips. Um, well, don't be nervous. I promise. These... I love these videos and trust me i've had my gameplay watch <laughs> i've had almost i've had almost every game watched by people since uh legion so or at least bfa so uh so we're playing looks like assassination rogue um it's been a minute since i've played with an assassination rogue um i'm trying to see i would assume we're i don't see uh flesh crap so maybe the night fade build i'll see in a second does look like that um, I don't see sepsis at all being used. So we can shot. We get a nice sap. This is a good opener for us. You could potentially go for additional CC on the priest, but it seems like you're it's you're fine. Um, again, it's been a long time since I played. I don't think I've ever played with an Asa Rogue. Nice job lining the. I don't know how. I thought I just saw a piece we go off. No, no. Okay. Hmm, that was weird. I don't know what that animation is. Maybe it's just something you have on you. That's fine. Uh, it looks like we're trying to dodge maybe CS. It looks like Chaos Bolt's here. Damn, too much damage, which is fine. Perfect. We still have Fleshcraft, Fleshcraft Shield up. Great dispel there. Um, we have Statue Down, Pour it up. Yeah, we're looking good. And now in this matchup, I don't think you're really going to push in that often until your rogue gets a kidney shot on the on the Warlock. Uh, there's the kidney shot, Smoke Bomb. So this is, this is where you push in. And a little trick you can actually do is you could roll into the Smoke Bomb that your rogue is in. And that way the priest can't like chastise you while you're pushing into the go CCM. And then you could incap while you're in the smoke bomb. But yeah, I would definitely nice blind here. And now I, I would have definitely liked to for you to be here for a leg sweep on this priest. Uh like a double leg sweep to get the warlock and the priest, because this priest is probably gonna trigger this. There's a trigger you instantly can maybe uh leg sweep because the priest is off stun DR or it doesn't have stun DR, and then you can incap off full. So that's probably one opportunity that we get a nice cheap shot too. Again, you can go for an in cap. This is soul rot from the pre from the uh, the warlock at the end of unending resolve. So just be careful here because we don't have many interrupts. Um, big healing here coming from the priest as well. I don't think again we're doing a great job because you don't really ever want to push in versus a warlock team. You you're just asking to get CC'd forever. So I think we're doing a great job. This is pretty much what you do. Just, all game long this this is it i know it's not the most fun that's cocoon there that's it's not bad it was the force that it looks like so i think we're doing pretty good uh as far as training cooldowns priest has no trinket warlock doesn't have his resolve buff up so i think overall doing good pi's down dark soul as well so yeah no we're doing i'd say we're doing i i, I wouldn't i don't know if we're ahead or not but i think we're, we're doing pretty good fleshcraft shield here and yeah, I'd be careful of the priest maybe going for a drink just because I think that's your I think that's your primary win condition is the priest running out of mana. But if we're, you know, kill the pet? No. Okay. Well, this is fine. We're taking it slow. We're letting the priest drink. I guess it's fine. Nice sap on the priest as well. Lock instantly gets away. We get commit straight to him. Oh, Tiger's Lust? Tiger's Lust is good. Yeah, Tiger's Lust is fine. Mind games as well. Um, we get double coiled, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I think that's okay. I don't know if your rogue... Oh, your rogue has cloak still, so that's fine. And your the shot... Um, Warlock has the buff, but it doesn't show here. Oh, that's... I have a weak aura. Sorry. I completely forgot that. It, actually, on the Blizzard frames, it doesn't actually show that like the buff is active. So, yeah, we get kicked, which I think is okay, because, again, your rogue used cloaks. 
fair trade. We got no Dark Soul for a little bit now, so we're okay. Uh, and now we're playing a little bit defensive. Which I think is fine. Make sure you put Renewing Mist on yourself because there is a lot of, yeah, there is a lot of cleave or like spread pressure from Warlocks. So keep Renewing Mist on yourself. Keep Renewing Mist on your Rogue. And then that way you can get those, you know, cleave Vivify heals. Uh, here we a Fear on you. Again, we're, just do the same positioning as before and don't really push out. It's really the name of the game. We do get a full kidney shot here though. It would be nice if we get some kind of CC here on the Priest. I know that we're like a little bit low. The, your Rogue's a little bit low, but we do have, do we, what do we have? We have Cocoon, right? We, we have Cocoon, so we could use it. Some kind of CC on the Priest before Trink is up, is Trink is up would be really, really nice because again, the, the Priest has no Trinket. And okay, that's the fourth set. Okay, nice Cocoon. Uh, we have Battlemaster. If you want, I feel like they're not going to try to kill you. So you could use Battlemaster Cocoon to make it bigger. Fear is half on your rogue or tri triple yard. So we're looking good there. Fear is half on you. So again, that's good. If you're D yard on Fear from the Warlock, we get kicked, but that's really not the greatest kick because your rogue is kiting and he is Night Fae. Okay. So we'll keep that in mind. Um, the, you are like triple DR feared on feared you are so you could push in for cc on the priest if you your rogue gets a kitty shot on the warlock just keep that in mind i mean we're lining now because right because damage but uh just keep that in mind for when you need to push in great port here on the stun great great job getting away from the warlock and i would say potentially next go could be pretty good too i don't know if we have smoke bomb back but uh we have vendetta in, in less than a minute probably less because if your rogue is using the legendary to shorten the cooldown on it which i think most rogues are Right, in addition to Unity, so overall doing pretty good. This Warlock probably isn't that happy. They're like, damn, I just want to do damage. But yeah, no, you guys are doing a really good job, especially for with uh, Asa Rogue. Great sap here on the Priest. Going for damage on the Warlock. And, oh, this is big damage. Okay, this is this is good. Um, yeah, if you can get... You, when when the, the DPS is in CC, especially if it's a Warlock with Echoing Resolve, who they, they can't get out of it, obviously, unless they're human. But don't be afraid to push in like you can get a follow-up leg sweep on this priest just to give some more pressure and then port out when the warlock gets out the kidney shot that's fine too um because you do want to take advantage of the leg sweep um sub rogue or sub, not, acid rogues don't really have that many stones unless they have vanish but i think overall doing good just be careful with the kick because the kick is still available it's also mind games uh i think we're trying to juke it which is fine if we have bone dust brew we could use bone dust brew to, to for like instant healing but yeah, you might want to make sure your renewing mists are dropping uh, like kind of frequently. So don't forget to also, yeah, bonus brew perfect. And then I throw another renewing mist on your teammate for the instant healing. That's life cocoon, sure. Oh. I feel like that was like a, I felt like a negative right. Yeah, that thing was negative. All right. Yeah, no, that was a really well played game. There really weren't many opportunities for you to push in. I would say just in general, when your teammate goes has a stun on the like the kill target like let me see right over here right here when you when you when you're rogue or whoever warrior doesn't matter gets a stun on the kill target try to do some kind of follow-up cc we get a great sap on the priest here you can even go for a dr in cap if you really wanted to and then leg sweep off just so you can generate more pressure or your dps can generate more pressure because you get death packed here you know something like that but i think overall I, Destruction Warlocks, you never really want to overextend because they can literally, they can kill you from 100% to zero. Like, it's it's not uncommon. So, no, you guys played this game fine. Renewing Mist kind of did drop off a little bit um, a few times because we have two charges here. You, I would say you want to refresh it as much as you can. Have it here. You can Fleshcraft it. Um, I don't know if we can Fleshcraft, though. I'm looking for it. I don't see it anywhere. Um... Well, you can fleshcraft the coil and then dispel your rogue. You could also, if you really wanted to, like if you knew you were going to get coiled, uh, what you could do is you could, so you see the Havocs on you. You know the coil is coming and you're trying to line it. What you could do is you can see the coil coming in hot. You could actually dispel your rogue's coil before this coil hits you. I mean, you still get coiled, but your rogue, you know, gets dispelled. So, but overall, you know, no, played play the matchup perfect. So, you know, no, no complaints there. Um, we have Mistweaver Asa versus Holy Priest Sub Rogue. Definitely recommend playing um, Sefus versus this. And I would try to get combat as fast as you can. Just because they're probably going to open you. Actually, so maybe it doesn't even matter that much. But I would say the most important time to port versus Holy Priest Rogue is when you see Mind Games coming out. 
Uh, I'm more afraid of mind games than the subtlety rogue damage. Straight up. Blind on you. It looks like a shadow dance from the enemy rogue. Uh, as well as resonator trinkets. We sit in the full blind. Our rogue. Cl trinket cloak from our rogue. Okay. A little bit scary when... It's a little bit scary when your DPS trinkets. Because that means in a shadowy duel they can absolutely die. So just keep that in mind. Salty rogues and twos. They have w basically one way to win. And that is shadowy duel. So... Uh, great kidney shot on i'm actually surprised the enemy rogue did not trink it trinkets at the end there okay trinket uh evasion as well and we get triple sapped it will be looking good fierce half dr because the drs with blind so it's perfect and hopefully we don't get kicked here if not we're looking pretty fine right now bonus for on the rogue bonus for on you you can use great job you could also if you don't want to get kicked here in th these situations what you can do is once you get bonus brew you could use expel harm and renewing mist i see we don't have any more renewing mist charges but if you have expel harm you could use expel harm to, it's a pretty good heal it's a pretty good heal um but yeah no overall doing pretty good we, we saved our trinket which is really important but your rogue doesn't have trinket and that's what's a little scary um because there's really not much you, you could revival but it's not gonna do much uh chastise on you i don't know if we're gonna get feared off this i don't think he has fear no we're doing pretty good that's kidney shot it looks like we're gonna do a little night fay on him give me a little touch of death it is what it is you know what i mean it is what it is yeah the only thing i would say about this matchup is just be a little bit scared for your dps to trink it because salt versus salty rogues just because they have the shadowy dual one shot if they're playing you know that spec which they normally in twos that they are but no it's pretty good like it's that was that was a good game they i think the both of them trinketed right and then you capitalize on their trinkets or at least the priest trinketed right and then really bad trinket from the priest but it fades but it just does it's not fast enough it's just not fast enough so nice job no that, that game that was fine like that was that was a uh, that was more than fine. Um, Asa Holy Priest. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. We got Asa Mistweaver versus Asa Holy Priest. Whoa, what was that? What Adam was this? Rated. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna just make a little note about that add-on. Okay. So it's the same thing. They're gonna try to they're likely the assassination rogue is gonna be Night Fae. If they go you, what you wanna do is you get kidneyed, instantly instantly pour it. Don't give them the global to press se uh, sepsis. So if they kidney shot you and then you see vendetta, pour it instantly. So let's see, we get a we get a sap, alright. Big opening here. Blind on you. Kidney shot on a rogue. Mind games as well. Uh, did we trinket that? What was that? Was that a trinket on this blind? No, we get sapped. Oh, oh, we trinket the sap into another sap. Okay, okay, okay. I see now. PI on the enemy rogue as well. Also, it's Vendetta. Feared half. Mind games as well is going to hurt a little bit, but we did cloak and evasion from your rogue. So that's fine. Your rogue saved the trinket. Honestly, it was blind on you, so your trinket is fine. You're not anywhere behind right now, I would say. You're just trading for what you, you know, the cooldown that gets pressed. It's also... It was also Vendetta, so I think you're fine. At least your rogue didn't trink it, which was nice. Um, but now it's our turn. Now now we got damage. So let's see. We got Incap on the Priest here looking for a leg sweep, I would assume. Kidney shot on the rogue. See, this is right here. Uh, you, unfortunately, like you don't dictate the goes as a Mistweaver. It's, it's, it's not your job, and it's, we can't do it. So save this in-cap leg sweep for when your rogue goes for a kidney shot is what I would say. Because I feel like it's just a waste because now we leg sweep. And now your your rogue isn't like doing any damage at all. And actually, your rogue gets kidney shotted. So it, it kind of feels like a waste of in-cap stun. Just because, you know, they, we, we have no pressure off of it. You know, we didn't get a trinket. here Now, see, like, we got kidney shot on the rogue. Now is a really good time to go for an in-cap leg sweep on the priest. Because now, look at it, we get trinket from the rogue. Without even any CC, which is nice. But the priest is able to heal through the damage. Uh, we get cloak because it's for your vendetta and sepsis, I would assume. <clears throat> but I think I think this game is just going to gonna come down to, like, you know, who can kidney shot sepsis. You know what I mean? So, uh, nice... Nice drop on that. This is Apotheosis from the Priest. Good in cap there. Um, any follow-up would be really nice, but I don't think we do. If we could stop any Apotheosis, healing would be great. Just because it reduces their healing by like a really good amount. Um, 
But yeah, we're looking for an XL. We have Yulon. I would be a little bit careful. Nice flesh craft. We get kicked on it. Potentially kidney shotted. No, nice, nice. We're rolling away. Maybe try Chi Torpedo, but uh, that's. Seems to be doing fine. Disarm on the uh, Asarog as well. Kidney shot on you. We have port. Perfect. Get out of there. Yeah, we're not we're not sticking around for anything. All right. So your rogue is trinket and evasion in ten as trinket evasion ten seconds, and hopefully I don't know if that's enough actually to get rid of to like live through sepsis. I think you need cloak as well. Hopefully they don't do a go for fifteen seconds. This is our kidney shot smoke bomb. Beautiful in there. That, I mean, that's it. That's that's it right there. Yeah, I don't know. They delayed their go for so long, right? They they literally delayed. I thought the rogue had vendetta like really soon. No. Huh. Oh, Vendetta in 15. So maybe he's not running the legendary and we are, but yeah, no, you guys pumped. Uh, I would just say the one go where you had, I mean, I know, you know, the Night Fae stuff, you know, you're just trying to get a kill without Trinket, but right here, just for like the future, when you go for the in-cap leg sweep, just wait until your DPS, like your rogue or whoever, you know, Demon Hunter, Warrior, it doesn't matter, has a stun on the DPS or whatever, or the kill target, and then you in cap with the off target. Just it makes setups a lot more clean. Hunter Priest, 2100 win. All right, let's see what we got. Disc Priest, Marksmanship Hunter is your disarm is really, really good versus this. So keep that in mind. Hopefully, you're playing disarm versus Marksmanship Hunter. You're just going to use it instantly on True Shot or 99% of the time they trinket it. So you go for an in cap leg sweep off, and their entire burst is destroyed. So, um, that's kind of how how it goes for marksmanship hunters. Usually training them is pretty easy. It is a disc priest, so they will oom eventually, um, especially if they're vent theers. So it looks like the hunt. Oh no, the priests. The priests are doing damage to you. Okay. Tap on the priest. Trap on you. No true shot yet. Can you shot on the hunter? Hopefully we can get something on the priest here. Maybe an in-cap. Smoke bomb as well. Great in-cap here. Looking for a leg sweep off. That's turtle from the hunter, which is... This is like the dream opener for you guys, right? Like, you didn't get a trinket, but we got turtle. So that's that's amazing. Um, it was Vendetta, but it's like, of course, I mean... They had to trade it or it was off. It was, it was, uh, it was game. One thing to note about silence here... Um, oh, you fleshcraft in the starting room. Normally, I would I would hold off on using fleshcraft to make you immune to CC. So, for example, right here, when the hunter uses the little scorpion thing, this this slow right here, you could actually fleshcraft right at the end of this before it goes off, and you're immune to the silence. So, normally, I just hold on to fleshcraft. So, I don't use it in the starting room because it doesn't really give you that much uh, that much of a shield, unless it's like rogue mage. Um, big healing here. Your rogue kind of ranged you a lot. So thankfully you didn't get kicked there or anything. Uh, this is true shot. So we're looking for a disarm on it instantly if we have it. Um, because it does do a lot of damage. It doesn't look like we're playing disarm. Okay, there we go. Okay, disarm, which is great. Um, we did have to trade life cocoon for it. But I guess that's okay. But if you disarmed a little sooner, it probably didn't have to life cocoon. Um, also, you don't have a statue down. I'm pretty sure. So also keep that in mind. Uh, feign death from the from the hunter. Probably I don't think he has feign death for the next one. Maybe potentially taunt pet here if uh, if they're close. Enough. All right, I don't even think he's playing. Oh no, he has his pet. Trap on you as well as a fear off. So just be careful. Uh, if we're playing revival peace weaver, oh we don't have revival. Okay, that's fine. If you the priest is stacking on you like this, trinket port, trinket leg sweep could even work too. Um, just don't give them this fear for free. Like you could trinket leg sweep and then maybe roll away. But yeah, now we just trink into a full fear, which kind of sucks. Mind games, we have cloak as well. So that's pretty good if we use it. Okay, that's cloak evasion, which is fine. Leg sweep or not leg sweep. We get a full kidney shot and I'm sure this is sepsis. Dome is not enough. Oh my God. The, the acid sepsis is like hilarious. Holy cow. It just does so much damage. Um, let me try. Let me see. So first thing, we don't have a statue down. Uh, the next for this one is, yeah, this trinket right here was was good, but the priest was stacked on top of us for the fear. So don't let him have this fear for free. You could inca you could um, trinket stun because the off stun you are. Trinket port is also good. Trinket roll away. Anything like that would have been would have been fine. Um, just try not to give them this fear for free. Uh, but you know this. I mean, the setup's freaking brutal, man. Dome, Dome, Dome wasn't even good enough. <laughs> the damage reduction wasn't even uh, wasn't even good enough. That's crazy. 
Uh, Holy Priest Demon Hunter. So I'm trying to think what we can do about this one. Uh, Demon Hunter is probably the kill target, even though they're going to be kind of difficult to deal with. Their Holy Priest does a lot of healing, but if you get the Trinket, they can also... If you get the Priest Guardian Spirit, you can probably kill the Priest, you know, Fate or something. Uh, they're instantly stunning your Rogue and Chastise on you. We have no Hot Set. We also have no Stature down. So just, again, be careful that you're losing quite a bit of healing without Statue. Good incap here on the Priest into a Leg Sweep. Nice, but again, we don't we don't have a setup on the Demon Hunter because what your Rogue is trying to do right now is wait see this this is a blur right here from the demon hunter <clears throat> the, your rogue i think is trying to wait for that and we in cap while blur is active so it's really not going to do like this cc is not going to do much because again blur is still up with a little bit of stun left and it's just going to be useless because we're probably going to kidney shot soon and we're not going to have any cc for the priest it could be a blind but the sap will be dr uh bone dust brew there's a kidney shot again and we have no, there's the blind. And imagine if we had some kind of follow-up CC like in cap legs on the trinket. It'd be so much, it, it, the it, the trinket would be basically useless, right? They go straight into CC. So, <clears throat> okay, we got statue down now, which is perfect. Uh, Chastise is pretty soon because they use Apotheosis. There's Boon. This is going to be a lot of damage. Cloak from your rogue is a great trade because Boon does a lot of damage. I would even revival afterwards just for the blast. Oh, that's the blast. So it's perfect. Kidney shot on the priest. Again, just like I said, if the priest trinkets and you get GS, the priest is a very easy kill target, especially after fade. If they try to feed for CC, it's just you could you could easily kill them. So uh, that is <clears throat> Holy Ward on the Demon Hunter. You could in cap that off if you wanted to. Um... It's not that big a deal because now you can get CC on the priest a bit easier, but yeah. Big healing here on your rogue. Uh, the, the the priest could die, but it seems like we're going to go for the demon hunter without blur. And I don't, we have Vendetta really soon, right? Yeah, that was that was Netherwalk from the demon hunter before Vendetta. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this demon hunter can definitely die next go, even if he trinkets. There's blur too. Yeah, this demon hunter's gonna die, right? That's chastise on you. We have trinket still. Are we going on the priest now? I'm actually surprised we did a kidney shot on the priest there because the the demon hunter has trinket but no blur and no netherwalk. So I feel like that was a little bit of a waste because now we have we have vendetta coming up as well. Um, but I guess we'll see. That's holy word on the priest. Make sure you keep doing mist on your on yourself too because demon hunters can swap on to you. Bonus brew, good. Be, uh, in cap on you. Gonna go for fear. Nice in cap on it. I'm actually surprised it didn't fade. And I try to go for a leg sweep off. Yeah, we don't have leg sweep. But yeah. Oh my god. Yo. Sepsis is crazy, man. Congratulations on the 2100. Holy cow. <clears throat> Let's see it. Let's see the achievement. Let's see it. Come on. There it is. Congratulations, man, on 2100. No small feat, especially playing with a Miss Weaver. Uh, let me. Let me see. So this first one, yeah, you guys played fine. You guys, you guys played uh, perfectly fine. I would say rotating and over overextending is the worst thing you can do versus Destro Warlock. So not you know stay close to the pillar as much as you can. Great job. You could dispel Coil midair. So if you ever you're if you're ever stuck in this situation again, like over here, where you know you uh, you have havoc on you and you can't line, or even if you try, you can still dispel the Coil midair. So. Try your best to do that, but I think overall this was played pretty well. Yeah, I think Redeeming Mist didn't drop too often, but just try to keep that in mind. Uh, if you're playing Battlemaster, you can use it for a big life cocoon. Good trade for Dark Soul. And yeah, no, this this game was fine. This next one, the Rogue Priest. This one wasn't that scary, but in the future, because now you're 2100. Now you're 2100. Miss me, right? You can start playing a little bit, a little bit higher now. The sub rogues will, tr will, they try to get a trinket in the opener and then that way that they get shadowy duel later in the game. So this right here is, I think this was just a bait for trinket. And I would, pr I, I would, pr I would say you could trinket because you have port while stunned, right? If you're playing eminence and then you can live if they shadow duel you. Your rogue can't do that without trinket. So just try to maybe you trinket first before your rogue. I know it sucks, but I mean, any way to not die to shadow duel. But yeah, great job here. I don't think there is much of an issue in this game. You guys played fine. You get CC'd a lot in the opener, but yeah, your rogue just like gets out of there with Vanish and Cloak. Uh, so yeah, no, played fine. 
this one was just a battle of sepsis right here this was oh this was make sure you don't cc before your your rogue does their cc so like this in cap leg sweep was good but it would have been even better if it was when your rogue was kidney shotting their rogue just because it makes the setup a little more scary forces maybe the priest to trade a cooldown and maybe they overlap with the rogue trinket because i think the rogue trinkets here even without the priest being in cc even though the rogue pre faints the go is still trinket so it might have been a mistake by them i know it's sepsis but like trinket cloak and fainted beforehand probably probably a bit of a you know over commitment by the rogue this one i think this one's just a good game right i think we just killed the hunter yeah this was fine oh this was yeah when you trinket especially right here you know don't try to make it easy for the priest right like you re trinket here and you could leg sweep the priest you could pour if you want to play it safe you could just pour it uh or you could be a little bit more aggressive and you could leg sweep the priest and then try to roll away or you could leg sweep and then pour it any way to make the priest just have a more difficult time trying to see you just because you know we shrink it and then we get a small heal and then we get full feared so yeah and then this one I think this one was fine too, right? Oh, this one, yeah, we do the same thing as before where we CC the priest, which again, CCing the priest is fine, but it, it was it was just at the wrong time because your rogue is waiting for the blur to go, you know, to stop being active on the demon hunter in six seconds. And we're going for an in-cap leg sweep without stun on the, on the demon hunter. So I would just say, wait for your rogue to kidney shot. Just say, hey, uh, when do you have damage? When are you using kidney shot? And he'll say, Two seconds i'm gonna kidney shot now okay and then that's when you go in cap leg sweep that's pretty much it though that's pretty much the uh most of the critiques i have is just cc i think healing wise you did fine really good um really good healing and i got no other complaints about that yeah no pretty good i hope this was somewhat helpful by just watching over your gameplay i think it's like really good to get better and learn so yeah hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone struggling with maybe trying to know when to cc and that is pretty much it hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you later